Today, I'm going to introduce AR Foundation and show you how to deploy a simple augmented reality app from Unity onto your phone. So we'll be using Unity's AR Foundation, which is a package that lets you create augmented reality experiences for any platform. And thank you to Unity for sponsoring this video. So with AR Foundation, you can build to Android, Apple, and HoloLens. It's super simple to set up and they support a ton of features, including plane detection, image tracking, object tracking, face tracking, body tracking, point clouds, and the list can go on and on. With augmented reality, we can easily blend the real and virtual world commonly through a phone camera or a HMD, which is a headset that you put on your head, such as the HoloLens 2. As a high level overview, with AR Foundation, we have subsystems and providers. Unity provides these subsystems, which are essentially interfaces, which contain functions that the providers have to implement on their end. In this case, the providers would be AR Core for Android and AR Kit for Apple. I like to think of interfaces as sort of a recipe of steps or functions that you follow or implement. And the providers themselves are the chefs with the ingredients that actually implement the functions or the steps listed in the recipe. And then there are managers. Managers help the subsystem data be accessible in the Unity scene through game objects. So that implies that every subsystem has an equivalent manager. For example, if you have the XR plane subsystem and it detects a plane in the environment, then the plane manager, which accesses the subsystem data, can create a game object in the scene representing that plane. So to get started, I recommend in the Unity Hub, first starting with the AR new project template. And this comes with the packages that we need already pre-installed as well as a sample scene. And we can just create that project. Additionally, depending on if you want AR on Android or iOS, you'll need to go to your installs folder in the Unity Hub, click the settings icon next to your version, click add modules. And if you're building to Android, you need Android build support. If you're building to iOS, you need iOS build support. And I do have two different videos, each detailing how to build to both iOS and Android. And once the project opens, we'll see this pop up here, which we can just close. I'll show you how to do this. If you already had an existing Unity project, you can go to Window Package Manager. Then under the Unity Registry tab, you'll want to download AR Foundation. Right here, you can click Install. And you want to download your plugin. So if you're building to AR Core or Android, you need the AR Core XR plugin. If you're building to iOS, you need the AR Kit XR plugin. And there's also the AR Kit face tracking if you need face tracking in your project. So go ahead and install those as needed. And I also recommend installing the input system to use Unity's latest version of the input, which also comes installed with the AR template. Okay, for settings, go to Filed Build Settings, and you'll want to switch to the platform you're building to, which is either Android or iOS, so we can switch the platform as so. All right, and once you've switched the platform, I also like to enable Development Build, so we don't have to configure any keys. Since we're just testing the app and that makes it easier for us to build to the phone with less setup, then we go to Player Settings, which you can also reach that through Edit Project Settings. So under the Player Settings, if you're building to iOS, you're going to want to scroll down. And for iOS, we need a minimum iOS target version of 11.0. And if you need ARKit support in your app, if it's required, you need to also check requires ARKit support. And this little warning goes away if you just type in the version number again. And we'll also want to add a bundle identifier, which is how our app is identified on the phone, which is com.yourcompanyname which I'm just going to put Samyam and then the name of your app dot app, which can be changed later. And that's basically settings for iOS. For Android, I do not have AR Core on my phone. However, we'll also need to add a package name here. And then you want a minimum API level of 24 if you require AR in your app. If not, the minimum API level you will need is 19. You'll also want to uncheck Auto Graphics API if that's checked. And if you have Vulkan in the graphics APIs, you're going to want to select it and remove it since it does not currently support that. And lastly, you want to make sure you have IL2CPP as the scripting backend. 
During development, you can put it to mono and you can select ARM v7, which is the 32-bit architecture, as well as the 64-bit. However, when you ship to the Play Store, you'll need IL2 CPP and you'll need to enable both the ARM v7 and ARM64. Google has their own guide on how to do this, so I recommend following that for more details. All right, so you're going to want to go in the player settings to the XR plugin management, and this is the area where the providers are located, and you'll want to enable the providers that you're going to be using. In the case of Android, you'd go to the little Android tab here and click on AR Core. And in the case of iOS, you'd go and click ARKit and it will now install the ARKit package into the Unity project. And once that's installed, you should see the check mark pop up. And to confirm, you can go into the settings under the XR plugin management here, ARKit, and you'll see that there are some settings that you can change. So for the requirement, we do want it to be required in this case because our app will be fully AR. And then you can also enable face tracking here if you need it. And with AR Core, there are some settings as well. Usually you want to keep them as default. Okay, once that's set up, make sure you're in the sample scene under scenes blank AR. And if not, you can easily add these components to empty game objects. You'll see that it also comes with a little tutorial tab here for more information, but I'll just close this for now. So there's a couple main components here that we want to pay attention to. And these are going to be mandatory. So we're going to want to make an empty game object called AR Session. And you want to add the AR session component, which you can just add a component and call this AR session and add that to this game object. And this basically manages the life cycle of the AR app. And so if you disable this, AR will no longer work in this game. So you want to make sure this is added and enabled, as this helps keep track of all the other subsystems in the AR session. The AR input manager helps manage your input. Anytime you interact with the augmented reality scene, the input manager is reading that input so that you can interact with objects such as planes on your scene. Then we have an AR session origin game object, which you want to attach the AR session origin script to it. And we'll want to pass in an AR camera. So if you have a main camera, you can just delete that. And you'll want to create an AR camera, which is basically a normal camera with a solid color and a black background. So no skybox. And it has an AR camera manager an AR camera background and a tracked pose driver component added to the game object. So as the name states, the AR camera manager manages the camera of your phone and you can change several settings here, such as the direction that you want it to be facing, whether it's the world or the user, the light estimation mode, and if you want it to autofocus. Now for all of these settings, we'll want to keep these as is for now and the tracked pose driver essentially applies the pose value of your phone to the transform of the game object. So the camera in the Unity scene will move as you move your phone around your room or the scene. And the AR session origin is responsible for converting the AR session space into the Unity world space. So when we are using augmented reality on the phone, we actually have a different coordinate system and that's called the AR session space. And that needs to be converted into Unity world coordinates to correctly map the game objects into your AR session. And you're going to want to position things in your Unity scene according to where your AR camera is located. So for example, if you want something to appear in front of your AR camera, then we can add a empty 3D object. We can add a little cube here and you'll see it's right on our camera. And so this will be our starting camera position in augmented reality. So we'd want to actually move this box a little forwards so that the box can spawn in front of us when we open our augmented reality scene. As you see, the forward vector is the blue arrow here. And so now the box will be positioned correctly. And this is very important to have this here, especially for plane detection, as planes are relative to the starting position of your device. Okay, and so now we have the basics of our AR app here, and we can just build this to the phone now. If you go to File, Build Settings, and make sure you're on your correct platform, then add your open scene, click Build. I make a new folder here called Builds, then I press Select, and now it'll start to build the scene into our Build folder. In my case, it will now open up Xcode because I'm in iOS, and from there I can build to my phone. 
And so you'll want to connect your phone to your computer and make sure your phone is ready for development mode. So if you don't have development mode enabled on your phone, then I have a tutorial you'd want to follow on how to do that and how to build to Android or iOS in the description below. Okay, now that it's done building, we can go into the builds folder. And if it didn't launch, you can just click the Xcode project there. In the case of Android, it will just build directly to your phone. You'd want to select your device under run device. If it doesn't show up, that means there's something wrong and it's not detecting your phone. And I'm just going to press play here so that it builds to my phone now that I've connected it to my computer. But first I need to go into signing and capabilities, automatically manage signing, enable automatic and select my team that I've created already. And once again, I go through that in my other tutorial. And so once that's done, the AR app should open up automatically. And if you're on Apple, you're going to want to press the OK here for the app to have access to your camera. And you'll see we have the cube now on our scene, which is pretty cool. And there's my dog. All right, so that's basically it. One more thing I want to call attention to is that Unity has some sample projects for AR Foundation which you can go on their GitHub page link in description and you can actually download this. So if you go to the code and click download zip right here and you'll want to have version 2021.2 and above of Unity as they say here. And once you have that downloaded, you can unzip the file and you'll have the Unity project here, which you can then go into Unity Hub, click open, search for your project here and click open. I already have mine open. If you go into the scenes here, you'll see that now they have examples for every feature that they support, which is super useful. If you don't know how to do something specific, you can just check here. Let's say you want to do image tracking, then you can do a basic image tracking and they already have a scene set up for that along with scripts written, which is really useful. And so this is the first tutorial of the small mini AR series. So I'll be doing some other tutorials on AR. So keep an eye out for them. And thank you again to Unity for sponsoring this video. And thank you to my patrons for their amazing support as always. If you're interested, the link is in the description. Be sure to join our Discord as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.